Now, if we're given a polynomial such as 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 minus x squared plus 5x minus 6, the first thing we need to do um, if we're going to add or subtract the like terms here is to group the like terms in descending order, and that means that the exponents are going to go from, or be ordered from highest to lowest. So the first terms, the highest uh, exponents, are going to be the x squareds, so we're going to group those together. So we put 3x squared, and then we're going to bring over negative x squared. Then the next uh, highest exponent is 1 on the x, so then we're going to write minus 2x plus 5x. And then we're going to write our constants, which have no uh, variable, so plus 4 and minus 6. So now we've grouped all the terms that we can add or subtract. And once again, 3x squared minus x squared, we can add or subtract those. Minus 2x and 5x, we can add or subtract those. And 4 and minus 6 are like terms, so we can add or subtract those two. So what we're going to do is use algebra tiles to represent this polynomial. And for 3x squared, what we're going to do is use red to represent positive and cubes to represent the x squared. So this represents three of these represents 3x squared. And for the negative x squared, and remember we've got to take into consideration the sign in front of the x squared, we're going to use the color blue to represent negative and a cube to represent the x squared. For minus 2x, we're going to use a rectangular prism and we're going to make it blue because the negative, the 2x is negative. So we're going to use uh, two of these rectangular prisms to represent negative 2x. And for positive 5x, we're going to use five red rectangular prisms, which represents positive x. Each of these represents positive x. And for the next term, plus 4, we're going to use four squares, to rep and each of these represents positive 1. And for minus 6, we're going to use then six blue squares, and each of these represents negative 1. Now we're going to use the serial principle, and if you have an x squared and a negative x squared, they're going to cancel each other out, and what we're going to be left with then is 2x squared, two positive x squareds. So that means that 3x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. We're going to look at the next operation where we've got negative 2x plus 5x, so we're going to look at these two, ter these two terms, and each of these negative x's is going to cancel out one of the positive x's and become 0. So the two negative x uh, are going to cancel out two of the positive x, and we're going to be left with then 3x. So then negative 2x plus 5x is positive 3x. And next, if we consider the constants, uh, each of these negative ones is going to cancel out a positive one. So we're going to be then left with two blue squares, which represents each of these is negative 1. So then positive 4 minus 6 is negative 2. So our polynomial simplified is 2x squared plus 3x minus 2.